Percy Howard. The immortal Percy Howard. I have no idea who that even is. Percy Howard. Uh, <laughs> Percy Howard. He's my mailman, right? Who is Percy Howard? Percy Howard is a truly remarkable story. Never caught a pass in a regular season NFL game, and yet he got into the Super Bowl against the Steelers in 1975 and caught a touchdown pass, and that was the only pass he caught in his NFL career. Well, Percy Howard was a, uh, was a basketball player. The Cowboys had had good success drafting guys who were college basketball players. So they brought him in, and they had two really good receivers playing ahead of him. They had Drew Pearson and they had Golden Richards. So they didn't have to play this kid. They had the luxury of being able to develop him, but they thought there was a lot there to develop. Going into Super Bowl X, our number six one-shot wonder was a long shot to get into the game, let alone catch a pass. He hadn't had a reception all season. Percy Howard's big break only came because Golden Richards was knocked out of the game by Hall of Fame cornerback Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt really beat on Golden Richards, something unmerciful that day. Ah, oh, they're just trying to get each other's attention, I guess. And wound up knocking him out of the game with, uh, with cracked ribs. So Percy Howard had a play now. Once in the game, Howard, of zero career catches and seemingly zero common sense, started trash talking with Blunt. He and I got into a verbal confrontation out on the field. I felt that I could get open because I, I had a certain burst of speed. So he said, well, why don't you go tell Roger that you can get open on me? Whatever it was he said, Blunt was like laughing, and Howard wasn't. Sure enough, I went back and I told Roger that I could get open. The next play, Stallback does throw the ball to Percy Howard. He catches it for a touchdown. Stallback looking deep. And there was no more shocked person in the Orange Bowl than Mel Blunt. And I came off pretty much slow, and then I burst into some, to some speed. And when I did, I got on him, and while he was spinning, I was going by him. And when the ball hit me in the end zone, I called the pass, and Mel came up, his eyes were as big as a clock. In the closing seconds of the game, our number six wonder nearly caught a second touchdown which would have won the game when Starback launched a Hail Mary. If I had jumped maybe just a split second later, I would have gotten that pass. If I had pulled that one in, and Roger, every time I see Roger, he talk about it, and they called me Bird at the time, said, Bird, if you had gotten that one, you would have gone down in infamy, you know, something to that effect. And I always say, yeah, but you know, that's hindsight, and maybe it just wasn't meant to be at that time. 